Hazard of the Piano Outlet, newly of Coral Springs, Florida. We just moved into this new facility from Margate. And uh, we've been actually here a few weeks, and it's been a lot of work. We had to move all these pianos from Margate. Uh, we're just kind of getting moved in right now, so please pardon our dust, as you can see. But um, we're just about uh, all settled in. We just have to uh, add some additional lighting and some other things. But I wanted to make this video of the CA-40 for uh, Sangin Han in uh, Iowa. I want to talk a little bit about the piano before I play it. This is a early 1990s uh, CA-40. I made a video on this previously, but we wanted to talk a little bit about voicing on the piano. And um, before I go ahead and do that, I wanted to pull out the action. I wanted to show you the condition of the hammers and everything. One of the things that we look for, that the hammers are nice and round, they're not all worn down uh, next to the wood or they're flattened. They're really, really nice. They're a beautiful color. All the wood is a beautiful color. It's nothing is discolored in here from, from let's say, uh, moisture damage or anything like that. Uh, all the felt in here is in perfect condition. Uh, key bushings are nice and tight. You see there's, there's no um, sloppiness from side to side. All the hardware is in perfect condition. There's no oxidation. So really, this action really looks like a brand new action the piano. Now, one of the things that we want to discuss is the voicing of the piano, and um, I'm going to play something very soft in this piano, and then I'm going to play something on this Yamaha over here, and then uh, you can take a little to talk about a little bit of the difference in the voicing. sound on the Yamaha.
clock is found in the piano, and both pianos can have this tone change. It just depends on how the hammers are voiced. If you want a brighter sound on the Yamaha, you can even make it brighter than it is now. If you wanted a darker sound, you can do that as well. So I hope that that clarifies some issues that you've been thinking about on the piano, and uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to call me.